A Floyd County family is mourning tonight after a family friend backed over a 15 month old killing the toddler. It's something that sadly happens more often than you might think nationwide. Fox News Kim Luffler has more on what parents can do to prevent another tragedy like this one from happening. According to the organization Kids in Car Safety, at least 50 children across the country are backed over every week because the driver couldn't see them. Advocates say there are safety measures parents can put in place to keep their kids safe. Every single child fatality that comes across our desk is just as devastating as the one before. Amber Rollins with Kids in the Car Safety was heartbroken to hear a 15 month old in Floyd County died after being struck by a car as it backed out of the driveway. Officers responded to the scene around 530 Thursday evening where they found the child unresponsive. Police say the mother of the child was babysitting for a friend and that friend accidentally struck the toddler when she reversed. They say neither knew the child was there. These cases are so predictable. It's about that eight 18 month old age group, they still fall into this category of, you know, completely unable to comprehend danger. Rollins says one important safety measure is the backup camera. Her organization was part of the push for a federal mandate requiring backup cameras on all new cars, which went into effect in 2018. Install that backup camera on your vehicle. Now that they come standard in all vehicles, the price on the aftermarket ones have gone down drastically. She also says installing alarms and child locks on doors is key to make sure a child doesn't get out without a parent's knowledge. That period of time when people are coming or going from the home is a very high risk time. So families should child proof their homes. They're quick. You know, these tragedies always happen so quickly. That's what parents always tell us. They were just there and then they weren't and it can happen to anybody. Floyd County police say charges are not expected to be filed in the 15-month-old's death. At the live desk, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News.